Following the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan in August, resettlement agencies here in the Twin Cities quickly became overwhelmed. A local woman made it her mission to help, hosting multiple donation drives for refugees, and now she's taking on a new project. Fox 9's Mary McGuire joins us now with more. Mary? Well, Sonia lives in Shakopee, but she has deep ties to Afghanistan. After working throughout the summer and fall to help refugees, she's now partnering with a local humanitarian organization to provide housing for hundreds of Minnesotans. Sonia Anunsasian lives in Minnesota, but much of her heart is still rooted more than 6,000 miles away. Every Afghan I meet, I feel like they're part of my family. Both of her parents are from Afghanistan, and many of her relatives are still there today. They tell her they fear the Taliban is monitoring their every word. I feel the, the fear in their voices. I can hear it when I talk to them. Um, but unfortunately, they can't be as open about what's going on because they're scared of what could happen if, if any Taliban were to find out. After the U.S. withdrew, many resettlement agencies became inundated here in the Twin Cities. So Sonia stepped up to help, organizing multiple donation drives. She also launched a sponsor program, pairing refugee families with local families who helped with immediate needs like clothing and personal care items. I spoke to many Afghans that are in Fort McCoy that literally were in the same clothing from weeks or months before from when they arrived. Minnesota-based humanitarian relief organization Alight learned of her efforts and a new partnership was born. They wanted this project to be led by someone in the Afghan community. Beginning in January, a light will set up homes for 250 families arriving in Minnesota from Afghanistan. Our job is to go in with all of the things that make a house a home. So things like bedding, pillows, um, towels, blankets, but also culturally specific items like prayer rugs and tea sets. 540 people are already here, and Sonia says over the next two months, at least a thousand more are expected. Moving to a different home in a different country is overwhelming, and Sonia hopes to continue to be a friendly face as the newest Minnesotans settle in. Now, the team at Alight tells me they will have just 48 hours notice before the refugees arrive. So now really is crunch time, Amy mm -hmm. and Randy. They need to make sure that everything is ready for these people to come really before they get here. Yeah. Undoubtedly, when you do a story like this, very nice story, by the way, uh, people want to know how they can help. Mm -hmm. So? So they need goods to pack those apartments and make sure that everything's ready. They also need funding as well. So they need donations. You can do that uh, by texting. You can also do that on their website. We have all that information on our website, fox9.com. Awesome. All Very right. good, Mary. Thank you. Well, no